Hey there everyone, Hatesh here, back again with another video and in this video, I would like to tell you a story. A story of you and a story of me. A story of everyone. The story is a little bit mathematical, but you don't need to be a mathematical genius to understand this story. It's really simple, yet can give a direction to your life. The story starts with a mathematical question. What is a focal point? Now, some of us know that a focal point for a circle would be its dead center, the center point from where entire circle can be traced. But that's an ideal condition. I know this sounds a little bit jargon, so let me try to explain that in a bit more detailed manner. Circle is perfect, but life is anything but not perfect. So let's try to fi find the focus point of a non-perfect life. So let's try to understand this whole concept with the help of a marker. Yes, an ordinary marker. So let's just say if the life would be a little bit perfect, then it would be something like a dot in the center and I could be possibly be able to draw a perfect circle around it. But life isn't just perfect like that because I'm not able to draw a perfect circle and that probably is not the best reason but definitely we all know that life is not perfect. And this focus point is your goal. What you're thinking is your goal. And in life, goal is not just a one thing. It eventually changes with your life because your life is not just a circle. It changes over life. It changes just like that and it just goes like that and just keeps a turn like that. So here your focus point is something like this. Here your focus point is something like this. Here this, here this. And at the whole center, there is some focus point in your life. And these focus points can easily be identified. This can be your family and friends. This can be your making money skills. This is about getting more skills. This is about your social life. And this is about something learning about skills or probably reading books. Finding that one focus point in life is so much difficult. And eventually your life is gonna take a lot of turns and finding all those focus point is also not that much easy. But what you can do Instead of getting so much worried about things like what should I do in my life, what should my career look like, what I'll be able to do after five years, will I be able to get a job or not, instead of doing all of that, these are just unnecessary worries which you cannot do anything about it. What you can do is figure out what is your focus point. Once you find out a focus point, drawing an arc around it is so much easier. So don't worry about too much of the things in life. Life is definitely complicated. What you can do is figure out those focus points. Yes, there will be definitely more than one. Probably about, I want to finish my degree. I want to become expert in programming. I want to become a great designer. Or probably, I want to become a basketball player. Whatever that is. Figure out your focus points. Once you have figured out the focus points, life is going to become much more easier. Those who are able to figure out these focus points earlier in life, we call them successful, targeted and motivated person who are motivated towards their work. But it's not like same for all of us. Some of us are not able to find those focus points and it's totally okay. You don't need to figure them out. It will eventually will come. Just sit down and think, what is the most important thing in your life right now? Eventually, the focus point will shift and that's totally okay. Probably today you want to become a programmer, tomorrow you want to become a designer and that's all okay. So what you need to do right now is figure out all those two or three points which can be the focus point of your life. You don't need to figure out the entire life right now. Don't worry about what you'll be able to do in your 30s or your 40s. Don't worry. Life is far more unpredictable to be predicting right now. So don't do that. Don't even try that. Just figure out what can be your focal point and just focus on them. For me, my focal points are to make YouTube videos, to learn more about programming, to learn more about designing, spending time with my family and friends. These are some of my focal points. Definitely, I do have a lot of them. But I don't think much about what I'll be able to do in my 50s or 60s. We don't need to think that much. Just focus right now, what is right now in your hand and what you can do for it. The only thing that you can achieve by getting worried is nothing. Yes, definitely nothing. I have met so many people in universities, they were so much worried about choosing the perfect programming language between Java or JavaScript or Swift. They spend an entire semester in that worriedness. What's the point of it? In that exact amount of time, you could have just sit down and could have learned that skill. I'm not saying that 
just go ahead and do everything with programming. Yes, definitely it's one of the greatest skills you can achieve and I'm super passionate about it, but there are definitely lots of other career options in life. So go ahead, pick up your focus point for right now. That's it. Yeah, there is definitely one more thing. You might be thinking what people are gonna judge you based on what the skill you are picking up. Probably people are gonna say, hey, this thing don't have a scope or this thing is bad or I don't like you to do this thing or that thing. Yes, definitely that's gonna be one issue, but let me answer that as well. This is a video posted by Marvel Entertainment for the legacy of Stan Lee, the great Stan Lee. And see, there are a number of dislikes as well, 828. But see, the number of likes, this is a huge gap. So whatever you are gonna be doing, people are not gonna like it. And see, the Stanley, the great person who dedicated his entire life towards entertainment. I've never seen such a lively person at such a great age. Anyways, the point is, no matter what you do, it's gonna be disliked by some people. But there are definitely a lot of people who are going to love your work. So do this entire work for those people who are going to love your work. Make sure there are some people who appreciate your work. They can get some benefit with your work. And that's all you need to care about. Don't worry about the dislikers. Don't worry about the people who are gonna say there is no scope in it. You love it, you gotta do it. Although this channel is mostly tied around programming, something like Flutter or JavaScript, which you might also have seen on this channel. But this is not all. Programming is not everything about me. I like to talk about more stuff as well in life and that's what I try to do in some of the videos as well. In case you enjoy the content on this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and stay connected with me. And also I'm recently very active on Instagram as well, so join me up on Instagram. The ID you can search for is hitesh0141. It's a strange number but it is. So anyways, hit that subscribe button, show some love by hitting that like button and share this video with your friends who might be depressed in figuring out life, but he don't need to. Share this video with him and I'll surely catch you up in the next video.